what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so we're gonna check out uh bray wyatt did not deserve to be fired by polana productions i know there was a recent report where uh some wwe uh, backstage officials supposedly said he deserved to be fired i didn't get a chance to look into it but when i saw that polana dropped this video i'm i figured he must be talking about that so i want to get his thoughts and opinions on it and i'm gonna have my thoughts and opinions on it as well but i can tell you off rip he didn't deserve to be fired that's just simple as that there's not even i don't even have to go into it for them to say he deserved to you know have been fired is kind of messed up i don't think he did deserve that i think he was somebody that was really creative in wwe management where their management in wwe just did not really appreciate his creativity and what he thought the character uh bray wyatt should have been so um yeah i have definitely have to disagree with them on that appreciate all love and support road to 60k let's get right into this man Need to talk about the new WWE re Oh, well, we can't get right into it because I have to make sure my audio settings is set up. Yep, there we go. I made a mistake, man. Even I make mistakes. <laughs> Everyone makes mistakes. Report stating that officials within the company feel like Bray Wyatt deserved to be fired. I thought that was absolutely laughable. I think it's important I provide some context, so okay. let's take a look at the report. A source within the WWE said this. Not being an apologist or a WWE defender, just telling you like it is. If you're running a business and Wyndham was on your payroll, you would release him too. Between his backstage antics and the way he handled himself when making millions and millions while medically flagged, he really deserved to be fired. What a quote. People in WWE are already trying to make Bray Wyatt look like a bad guy who deserves to be fired. It is the same story that we have seen before. That's WWE is attempting to control the narrative. Mm -hmm. They've done the same thing with CM Punk back in 2014, and the same thing is happening now to Bray Wyatt this time around. Thankfully, though, he went onto Twitter to express how he felt oh. about that report. He first replied with a <laughs> gif of The Rock rolling his eyes, which was kind of funny, and he quickly followed it up with another tweet saying that now that we have Johnny and Bruce's opinion, he'd like to share his own as well. And I'm so glad that he came. That's messed up, man. I can't believe boys really thought he deserved to be fired. I don't know what happened backstage. I don't know how he was backstage. All I know is what he was able to create and what, it, what he was able to produce. I don't think he deserved to have been fired when he was one of the best things you had going in a company, in my opinion. So I don't know what was really happening backstage. A lot of us don't know. We can only speculate. But to say someone deserved to have been released means... He had to been doing something really wild and crazy for y'all to even think that. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I don't have no... I don't know if I can agree with that. ...came out and said this because the WWE is clearly trying to destroy his reputation. I see. And that just does not sit right with me. I don't believe that report for a minute. I think this is just damage control for the WWE while also making him an undesirable signing for any other wrestling promotion. I personally cannot wait to see what Bray Wyatt actually has to say about all this. Mm -hmm. His 90-day contract clause is officially up, which means that we will hear from him very soon. But if I had to guess, though, Bray Wyatt was probably overprotective of his Fiend character, and for good reason. The WWE does not have a good track record they when don't. it comes to taking care of gimmicks. They've ruined... Let's, let's be honest. They didn't even take care of his gimmick. ...when so many great characters in the last five years. Just take a look at the Finn Balor demon gimmick who was an absolute star in NXT. The WWE creative <laughs> team kind of ruined that yep. multiple times on the main roster yep. by overexposing his character on free TV. Mm -hmm. Then you have Keith Lee who seemed like a star that was ready to become a superstar on Raw and instead they have completely botched him as well. They even had to repackage him and call him Keith Bearcat Lee. 
Yeah, the the WWE is, is doing the same weird. thing with Karrion Cross, who could have been so big right mm -hmm. now if they just did not change anything about him. Yep. But instead, they changed everything about him, and now they want to completely repackage him as well. As you can see, there are plenty of examples of wrestlers with a ton of potential where the WWE just fumbled the bag. And they Facts. did the same thing with Bray Wyatt's character as well. When The Fiend first arrived, he was the coolest thing in wrestling. Yes, he was. I would say that he was the biggest star in the company. Seeing him debut for the first time at SummerSlam against Finn Balor was the sickest thing, bro. I remember reacting to it. It got a whole bunch of views on the channel, man. It was dope. It was just like something new, fresh. It was creepy, but you enjoyed it. It was like, if I was a kid, seeing him would have been nightmare fuel for me. You know, I remember watching The Undertaker as a kid and Kane as a kid. I used to be afraid of them. And seeing this, what he had created, fantastic. And then what they do, they immediately book him to face Seth Rollins in Hell in a Cell. They didn't even wait to build him up. You already put him in like a title shot opportunity. He had to win that match. And of course, it was like a no D it was like a no contest in a Hell in a Cell or a DQ in a Hell in a Cell. Like, bro, you booked him to face Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins was not beating him. People were already getting tired of Seth Rollins, and he wasn't gonna beat the fiend. You had to book him to win. And it oh my god. Sh complete shambles in the summer of 2019 and i truly believe that soon after he had that infamous hell in a cell match with seth rollins and a majority of people absolutely despise that match people really believe Destroyed. that this I, is, that match is awful. actually ruined but despite that though the wwe realized that they made a mistake and they gave him the universal championship shortly after that that reign was pretty good until the end of it when goldberg defeated him and, and this is why I just, mm, I respect Goldberg for what he's done, but that booking decision was the dumbest thing ever. And at that point, I didn't care for The Fiend. I, I, I could not care for The Fiend because of what they had done to him. I enjoyed some of his feuds with John Cena. That match with John Cena at WrestleMania, that Firefly Funhouse match, that was entertaining. A little bit of what he had going on, Randy Orton, but then to him setting on fire, it it, it just kind of got really cringe to me. But Goldberg ended whatever hype he had. Uh, that, uh. In a couple of minutes to win the championship uh. belt. After that, he won the championship back at SummerSlam only to lose it to Roman Reigns in a week. And then he was burnt alive at TLC and went missing for months only to lose to Randy Orton yep. at WrestleMania 37 with no payoff whatsoever. It made no sense and was one of the worst decisions I've ever seen. After all of that, the WWE, I would say, ruined his character. They finally yes. did it. They messed up really badly. And how can you treat one of your biggest stars like that and constantly f over expecting him to be completely fine with it? Mm -hmm. Bray Wyatt has every right to be angry with the WWE, especially in those moments. They've never cared about his character that he poured all of his heart and energy into. And now they're still trying to flip the narrative. Well, I am not going to allow that to happen. I hope, and I really hope that people do not fall for this BS report. Yes, I cannot don't. wait to hear the truth from Bray Wyatt, whatever yeah. that is. And I'm sure we're going to learn more about how Johnny and Bruce are ruining the WWE right now. However, I think everyone knows that already. With all that being said, I think we can all agree and say... Yeah, man. Uh, video is pretty much over, but uh, yeah. I would like to hear his side of things. I believe uh, one of the higher ups in uh, in WWE he goes by Bruce Pritchard or whatnot uh yeah Let me be honest with you you can say all this throw dirt on a person's name but at the end of the day I would like to hear his side of things I would like to see what uh Winham has to say because that's total BS anyone that believes that you are definitely a super WWE mark because you cannot tell me that was something that made sense to, oh, we had to let him go. When he literally was a money grab. He was a money machine if you would have just booked him correctly. Simple as that. Booked his character correctly. But they didn't want to do it. They didn't. They wanted to go about their way. 
as always they've always wanted to go about their way instead of actually paying attention to what the fans want what the actual individual wrestler think his character should be like they don't ever listen and when they do listen it's years later prime example roman reigns roman reigns should have been turned heel now they turn him heel i'm okay with it i'm happy with it but it took them how many years i don't know i love me some wwe and i really want them to thrive and i really want them to be a you know continue to be a great wrestling company but when you do stuff like this it hurts the overall product wwe will still be fine they'll still keep doing the things that they always do but it just sucks when you let go of gems like this guy for what why and then try to muddy their name after they're gone it's kind of messed up man but comment down below let me know do you guys believe that article that uh bray deserved to be let go deserved to be fired or do you call bs on wwe backstage politicking because i think this is typical wwe backstage politics at its finest we don't want this guy to really be over in the indie scenes as a free agent so we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt on his name on his brand that's kind of how i see things are playing out but appreciate all love support row 2 6k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all on the next one peace